Crawl Space Inspection, Part 1. Well, in this particular case, we used a remote control car with a GoPro. Um, the crawl space was probably around 4,000 square feet, and it was rather cluttered. Um, in these crawl spaces, you have to be pretty careful uh, with what's underneath the soil. This is what we call a vented crawl space. And back when they built this church, this is a, a rather large church um, back in the 1900s, vented crawl spaces were what they installed. Today they install conditioned crawl spaces which are actually heated, cooled, dehumidified, have insulation around the perimeter and 100% sealed vapor barrier and they don't have those vent holes to the exterior. Well this one's got the vent holes and um, so what happens, you know, uh, is air travels underneath this and s supposedly is supposed to dry it out. And it does, but with today, you know, energy um, costs, um, you probably want a conditioned crawl space. You know, this church floor is probably very cold. Um, in the wintertime, it probably has condensation. And a lot of times, these types of crawl spaces have some musty odor uh, in the building above. Now, as you're seeing uh, the car travel through this crawl space, you'll notice there's quite a bit of debris. And when they built this uh, structure, the bricklayers would just throw the broken bricks, the cracked bricks, you know, when they would cut bricks and um, the um, tiles right into the crawl space. You know, mortar would be thrown in there, and then, of course, their lunch boxes and anything else. Um, glass, you know, the, uh, would be in there, and there's probably quite a bit of glass that's in there, and a lot of it could be covered by soil um, from, you know, being disturbed over the years. And so it can be very dangerous uh, crawling in this crawl space, if, especially if you're not wearing, you know, some type of protection. Tyvek suits um, are not protection against metal objects and glass. And this particular um, crawl space had a HVAC system added at some later date and so you can uh, understand the difficulty in installing and working in this space. This space ranged anywhere from 12 inches up to about maybe 30 inches and a few 32 inches in a few locations and so the tin men would be cutting tin and just leaving their tin pieces uh, whatever you know was left over in the crawl space and you could see uh, tin, bricks, mortar, there's stone because they use a lot of stone on the building and then over the years in this particular case almost a hundred of them anybody that would go in there to you know add any type of installation would just leave the debris in there so you need it some type of protection now this particular um, crawl space we use Tyvex and high efficient particle air HEPA filters because the asbestos pipes were just failing everywhere and over the years uh, this was a steam system that they had above the church it gets moist in there and so the insulation gets heavy and kind of falls off the pipe so you know it's completely full of insulation friable insulation that may or may not contain asbestos and it probably does so high efficient particle air filters are what we used uh, to control the dust and so this would be the first video of going into the unit and um, I will continue with the videos and explain uh, what we inspected and what we saw in this particular crawl space and uh, what also you can look for when you are in crawl spaces. Please watch video number two.